TDS now as content creator skins, so I'm gonna make a tier list ranking all the skins from S tier all the way down to F. Firstly, we have the Elite Accelerator skin. If I'm being honest, the early upgrades start off kinda mid with an electric theme suit and top hat. It does however have a custom magic cell shard which looks really cool, although as you upgrade it, it gets an eyepiece as well as some electric shocks around them which makes the skin look a lot better. It then gets some wings on level 4, however it only starts looking really good when maxed. Like to the default accelerator, it becomes more purple themed as well as getting a recolored shard and some darker wings. Overall a pretty neat skin which is basically Mage Accelerator but you don't have to pay Robux so I'm gonna place it in A tier. Next we have the Sweeking Minigunner skin. Now Sweeking, if you're watching right now, I'm sorry about what I'm about to say. At its starter levels it has a really cool minigunner which I'm a big fan of. Now what I don't like are the colors. They don't really fit the minigunner which makes for a weird contrast in my opinion. As you upgrade it, the minigunner gets even cooler though with it getting a few additions as well as some sunglasses and a top hat. Only once you max it though do I start thinking it looks decent with the Halloween themed colors and it getting some sick looking neon on the minigun model. Now I get to do the sweeking, but if I'm being honest, this, this is a B tier skin. Next we have the Propellers Ranger skin. Now I figured he'd probably get an Ace Pilot skin for the memes, since like, Propellers. But honestly, the Ranger skin fits way better. It has the classic Propellers outfit with the classic hair, blue jacket and pants while still looking cool in game. Now what I really like is the gun model. It's nothing fancy, but it has a really clean design as well as having some neon accents at the bottom which I'm a big fan of. As you upgrade it, it gets a cartoonishly massive backpack as well as a few other additions that look great such as a hat, goggles and earpiece. Now on the max level, sure, it gets an insane looking gun model, but best of all, stickers. Here we have a Paradoxum Games logo, a cat sticker, a sticker with propellers on it, as well as a Mongo Enterprises sticker, which is a reference to a strategy you made, I think? Not entirely sure to be honest. There's a lot of attention to detail in this skin which you gotta give credit to, so I simply have to give this skin S tier. Following that we have the Corso Crook Boss skin, which starts off with the classic Corso avatar, although with a slightly smaller head for obvious reasons. This skin feels a bit more goofy with it getting more oversized accessories like its hat and glasses to fit the mega head as you upgrade it. On its third level it even gets a biggest head gun buddy on its Tommy gun which I think is a pretty neat addition. Finally, on its max level, it gets a white cape. Now, the only flaw I see is that there's currently no custom bodyguard skins. However, confirmed by Corso himself, they're coming on the Crook Boss rework update, so hey, we take those. For that reason, I'm going to have to place it at a respectable A plus tier. Next, we have the Wikia Colors Engineer skin. At its starter levels, it's pretty boring as it only gets small additions like headphones, a mask, as well as a YouTube play button that gets a new version with every upgrade. It does however recover on the final level, with it getting a robotic arm with some neon flare that's pretty sick. It also gets a custom weapon with some golden accents as well as a neon yellow scope. Although not anything crazy, it's a pretty clean look. Here it has no custom model turrets, but they have not added them in yet, so instead of placing it in B tier, I'm upgrading it to A tier because these are definitely gonna look really cool with it. Next up, we have the CEO of Isaac Warden skin. This skin feels very random, but it has a lot of references that make it a neat skin. As you upgrade it, it gets a nerf knife, a plushie of himself, as well as some additional nerf weapons. Even his main weapon gets turned into a nerf blade. Very cool. Then finally on its max level, it gets a halo looking knife thingy, as well as a custom shield with the plushie taking the owl of the stuns. Oh, and it also has a familiar looking helmet. Hmm. Honestly, how you view this tower is based on if you get the references or not, so although I'm placing this at A plus tier, if you don't get a few, I'd get why you'd probably rank this lower. Finally, we have the Egrypted Commander skin. I like to his avatar, the skin is watermelon themed, and by this I mean instead of a walkie talkie, it has a piece of watermelon that it eats, which is pretty funny as well as the stand being replaced with half of a watermelon. Sadly, there are no custom voice lines, which could have really made this an even better skin. The only upgrade I find weird is level 3, where he becomes radioactive or something, but it recovers on the max level, with it looking really cool. Overall a great skin, although due to not having any custom voice lines, I'm giving it A plus tier. Oh, and don't forget my own skin.